So we are now hearing rumors, and we're gonna start hearing more and more rumors, guys. Sorry, by the way, for my voice. I know it sounds awful right now. I am under the weather. Uh, that's why I've not made content as much as lately because I've been very much under the weather. But shout out to James Roberson of Tech Radar. Christ talks about this subject that a lot of articles are writing about right now. And this is something that I've said many times that Samsung should do. And to be honest, it makes perfect sense for them to do it this year. So obviously, yes, Samsung is going to give us the Z Flip 4 and Z Fold 4. Both these phones are going to be absolutely magical. Let's be honest. Both these phones are going to be absolutely amazing. Uh, and they will be very expensive. But I've always felt like, and I've always said this on my channel, is Samsung needs that third foldable phone. Now, whether that's a foldable, a slidable, a flippable, whatever the case, right? Samsung needs to throw another phone in the market. <laughs> because currently, they have the, Z, the Flip series at $1,000. They have the Fold series at $1,700 nothing's better if they just have a happy medium in maybe like um 12 dollars range <laughs> maybe have a again like i said before and just have to be a foldable phone it could be a, a slideable phone they micro uh samsung has released so many patents lately recently they've done so many patents on slideable phones we've covered them many many times on the channel right and these slideable phone patents honestly they could finally start to work out you have a flippable phone affordable phone and a slidable phone now at the moment in time you know will samsung actually progress through this and do this it's kind of on a weird situation the reason why i say that is because this year is a weird year microsoft is waiting a year before they throw their hat in the ring with surface 203 Apple is waiting a year to see how this year develops technology. The only true competitor, because Google is releasing their affordable phone in China, would be Oppo. So it's right now, honestly enough, which is kind of funny, is it's Samsung and Oppo right now for the front runners for affordable phone market. And based on what Samsung has told us, they're projected to sell around 10 million units of the Z Fold 4 and Z Flip 4. So they come out here with a slidable phone or let's say they do do a clamshell because they also got a patent for a phone that looks exactly like the Surface Duo 1 and 2. Um, let's say they released a foldable phone, right? It was a $1,200, $1,300 phone. Looks identical, identical to the Oppo Find 5G. Like if they release that, what's, gonna, what's that going to do, right? Well, first off, yes, it would capture that market who wants to buy the Oppo Find 5G. Who can't? You get the price tag, obviously. But at the same time, I just don't feel like it would be the right time for them to do that because of the fact that, you know, next year, I mean, this year, they don't really have to compete with anybody. The following year, 2023, they released that huge, crazy, affordable cell phone. Everyone's going crazy. Everyone, you know, they're outselling all the other cell phones like Surface Zero 3, you know, Oppo Find 5G 2, whatever the case. So that's all new cell phone. So I feel like that's a 2023 type of phone. This year, I feel like it's a slideable phone type of year. And the reason why I say that is because I feel like this is the time of the year where they need to go ahead and, you know, there's not much competition this year, right? There's not much people going against them. So throw out a phone that is you know just interesting enough where it speaks piques people's interest right but same time it's not like you're competing with 17 other phone companies so you don't worry about you know if it's a failure or flop throw it away it's whatever right but at the same time you at least get a phone out there that maybe pushes your brand into another market right <clears throat> when they release the z Fold one and two you know, Samsung took a risk. This was a big risk because releasing a $1,700 phone with a really new technology was a gamble. And it was a flop, right, at first. And then it progressed and developed into something good. But at the moment in time, it was a flop. So I will say at this moment in time, you know, <laughs> I'll be interested to see what Samsung does because this is a year where they can take that gamble. They can take that leap. They can go at this idea, at this concept of a slidable phone, a tri-phone, you know, a tri-fold phone, right? Three-way folding phone. They can take that leap. And they have already have shown off so many different prototypes 
on slidable foldable phones they create patents for these phones take the shot samsung because this might be your only opportunity to do so this might be your only opportunity where you don't have to worry about having the whole entire market you know fight back against you this year this is the year where they can take the shot so i'm gonna be interested to see what ends up happening you know and we won't find out until probably quarter three quarter four this year at the samsung event so once that event comes out we'll see what's going on if samsung is going to release another so affordable slideable cell phone and there will be so many different rumors trust me guys so many different rumors of people saying like oh yeah here's proof that samsung is working on another slideable cell phone and to a certain degree we can use some rumors slash you know stuff like that to kind of dictate if they are or not we saw that with the surface duo 2 we found out that they did have wireless charging transfer because of the um i think it was the fcc i reviewed it and actually put out their information about it uh so there are some information we can take but 99% of the time any rumor mills are gonna just be take her grain of salt don't go ahead and go look too much into it when you look too much into it you're probably just gonna be overthinking things and it's not gonna work out right so with that being said guys tell me down below your thoughts and opinions would you pick up a slidable foldable cell phone or a slidable trifold cell phone I mean if Samsung can get it right they can really do it great but we've also seen no rumors of them doing this so unless they're really just hiding it back and being really secretive this year i don't know guys i don't know i'll see you guys next one though peace out